Hello everyone, Keegan Cook here, uh, sharing a presentation that we've called Better the Ball. This is a collection of little plays that the women's national team members make to give their team the best chance to win a rally. Some of these things are taught, some of these things are, are learned through high level play, but uh, I think we want all of our young athletes to, to emulate um, the little things that our women's national team does to succeed. So let's get it going. Broken up this presentation into four areas. Um, first section will be called First Things First. This is a bunch of observations on first contacts and, and the details behind first contacts uh, that our women's national team members make. The second will be called Create Always. This refers to, as you can imagine, setting in lots of different ways that all members of Team USA set to create opportunities to score. Third, we'll call Be a Threat. This is some of the little things that attackers do to make themselves a threat um, that maybe you wouldn't notice. And the fourth section we'll call win the net. These are some unique plays around the net uh, that our athletes make to score points. First things first, purposeful and intentional first contacts from all players. The first touches create the foundation for offensive success. This is one of the first things you notice when watching uh, high level volleyball is just how mindful the athletes are with their first touches. And so we have some clips to show you that. So here we go. First play we're going to see is from a USA outside hitter who's an off blocker. Really like how much effort goes into making a great first contact at the expense of being able to transition and attack. Jordan really takes care of the ball first before anything else, giving her opposite a chance to score. Next play here is actually going to come from our opposite. A little bit of a longer rally. You're going to see a free ball uh, coming across the net that Annie takes care of really mindfully, puts it in a great spot, great height, center of the net, setting up a really nice middle transition attack. But you can see how purposeful she is in making that contact. Next play here is coming from our Libro. Another ball off the block, tough transition situation. And I just want you to notice how high this first contact is. It's played intentionally high to give everyone a chance to transition and have all of our attackers available really like that first contact. Last play here, another free ball situation, a little different. It's coming from far away and, and look at where Team USA's Libro positions herself. Really, you know, puts herself in the center of the court. She knows she can get to this ball coming from far away. She lets all of her attackers prepare to attack and she knows her role. So to summarize, you know, the first things first section take care of the ball before you think about transitioning. We saw that in that first play. Let's center up that first contact. Let's really lead our setter, get her moving towards the ball, really create some nice uh, offensive situations by having a really mindful first contact. Let's give our hitters time. You know, we can run a fast offense from a high first contact. We don't have to pass it low and tight. We can, we can still run our offense. In fact, we could have more hitters available if we have a higher first contact. And lastly, play your role. If you're a Libro or a back row player who's not involved in the transition offense, let's get in a position to make that first contact uh, and let our hitters and setters uh, do their jobs as well. Next section, create always. Examples of women's national team members creating opportunities to score in complex situations and less than ideal first contacts. That's one of my favorite things about watching our national team play is that they just get swing after swing in transition in long rallies. They don't send many free balls across the net and that's because they've got a great culture of setting and, and creating on their team. So let's see some examples of that. Here we go first play from Team USA, scrambling on defense and really impressive set, high off and inside from again, our USA outside hitter coming uh, in, playing the ball high, giving her opposite a chance to score, really creating uh, something great out of something difficult.
Next play here, tough rally, fast dig. Really like how assertive uh, our outside hitter is, Kelsey, and leading a back row hitter. Maybe she doesn't have a front row option, but she knows she has a back row option, and she leads her hitter to get a scoring opportunity out of the back row. Really nice play right there. Next play here, bit of a longer rally. I'm going to see a coverage and a fast first contact followed by a great set here from Team USA's middle. Really nice job and just kind of shows off that every player on the team has a need to be a great setter. And, uh, and our, that includes our middles and our Leroes and our outsides and I just love that set. Last play here, one of my favorites. Really impressive out of system set from off the court. When you get yourself in these situations, you got to go for it. And I just love seeing this set really far inside, really high, you know, really tough first contact, but turns into something pretty special because the outside hitter for Team USA goes for it. All right, to summarize again, you know, when it comes to second contact, especially ones out of system, let's get them high, let's get them off, let's get them inside for front row players, let's give them the best chance to score. Uh, out of system and we saw that in that first clip second if you don't have a front row player available lead a back row player you know lead them call their name name it in action let them get a swing out of the back row third just a reminder for our young athletes you know as you get to higher and higher levels of volleyball your need to set is going to go up we need you to be a great setter and and you see that on the women's national team where every player has has a strength in strength in setting Last but not least, when we're in really difficult situations, let's let's go for it. We can always decide to send a free ball over at the last second, but let's go for it with that second contact. Let's really keep it high and inside and, and try and create a scoring opportunity uh, when one might not have existed before. Be a threat. Some examples of our women's national team attackers' movements and decisions to make themselves a threat to opposing defenses. You know, what are we doing without the ball maybe that, that creates some opportunities for our team? Let's see some clips. Couple plays here. First play here is gonna be another out of system set. Really like that our outside hitter makes herself a threat and she makes her opponents block. They're thinking free ball, they want it to be a free ball, but she's affecting their transition by jumping and making a play above the height of the net makes it much more difficult for your opponents to transition when they have to block. Next play here. Again, we're scrambling. Outside hitter for Team USA approaches and jumps. The harder you can approach, the higher you can jump, the more you appear like you're going to attack, the more pressure you're going to put on your opponents. Third play here. Really, really impressive job by the back row outside hitter for Team USA to make herself available. She sees some traffic on the ground in front of her. And so instead of attacking out of the pipe, she switches and hits what looks like a D here, but creating an offensive opportunity where one might not have existed by moving and communicating. Last play here. Again, a bit of a longer rally. Good out of system set there. Looking at a different part of the rally here in slow motion. Like when our attackers approach hard and then decide late whether or not they want to hit it hard. We saw a clip earlier where the USA outside hitter hit a roll shot to score. In this situation, the hitter really liked the set. And so she approached hard and took a swing and scored. And you can always make that decision late when you're in the air. Uh, and really like that. We saw two examples of that in these clips. So let's summarize. We want to make our opponents block as much as possible. When we approach and jump, we force them to block us in most situations, which makes their transition more difficult and can help you win rallies. Approach hard and jump hard. They're more likely to block if you approach hard and jump hard. Move and communicate. Volleyball is random. You need to make yourself available. Uh, sometimes in non-traditional spots on the court and communicate uh, to your teammates in order to create an opportunity to attack.
And last but not least, but you can always decide to tip it late or, or set it over late, but let's get up in the air and assess the situation and decide whether or not we want to uh, give it a rip or, or play it safe. But let's let's get those plays to happen up in the air. So some examples there of how you can be a threat. Last section here, win the net. Some assertive and aggressive plays along the net that give the women's national team the best chance to win the point. We'll be looking at some tips here and we'll be looking at some other non-traditional plays uh, around the net. First play we're going to see here is a, a really fast left side set where the opposing team makes a, uh, a blocking mistake. And in these situations, a lot of times I'll see an outside hitter try and really bounce the ball really close to the sideline and sometimes make an error. Uh, in this situation, uh, Team USA's outside is going to see this blocking mistake and she's going to tip the ball for an easy kill. Just like that, really nice play. Next play here, you know, I think shows just the toolbox of our outside hitters. You're gonna see our outside hitter on this side tip the ball in a way that just creates a lot of pressure on her opponents. And in fact, it earns them a free ball and an easy chance to score. Another play here, this one out of system and uh, really like tips that force multiple players to communicate and decide who's going to play it. And so we're going to see that from Team USA's outside here. She's going to tip this ball in the center of the net and really create some communication problems for her opponents. Really nice ball. Another thing we would say is it, it's okay to tip on good sets, and we're going to see some examples of that with our, with our middles here running a slide of, of tipping a ball uh, in a way that scores an easy point. You don't just want to tip on less than ideal sets. It's okay to tip on good sets. In fact, it's a time when your opponents are probably least accept, expecting it. That's a fun play there again. Uh, really like the fact that uh, a random play develops and the ball is hanging in the plane of the net and Team USA is outside. Doesn't just give it to her opponents. She sees it as an opportunity to score before their defense is set. Really like when our players are assertive in the plane of the net. We're gonna see one more example of that here. Play that happens quite a bit. Ball goes off the block, it's up in the air. Team USA setter recognizes that she's about to make the first contact for her team and she throws it down. Instead of maybe taking herself out of system, uh, she scores a really high rate point. So like that play there, like when our athletes are assertive around the net. So to summarize, what are some little things we can do to kind of win the net? We can tip through the block. We can tip past the block. We don't always have to tip high and over the block. You could see that from, from our USA outsides. We want to tip to spaces that create pressure, that, that force communication, that cause two players maybe to go to the ground. It isn't just about getting a kill. It's about putting pressure on your opponents. And we can tip on good sets. We don't have to uh, reserve tipping for, for only less than ideal sets. And last but not least, when those random plays break out where the ball is hanging in the plane, let's let's be assertive. Let's go for it. Let's throw those balls down. So, again, some little plays from, from Team USA on, on how they dominate the net. That'll do it. Those are just uh, some situations on how your athletes can better the ball and, and help each other uh, win big points. And uh, hopefully, you know, a lot of these things are difficult to practice, but they can be shown and, and taught to our young athletes. So. Good luck.